Hey, everyone. I wanted to share with you today something really fun you can do in Crea AI. So if you go to Crea and you go to Generate in the real-time module, um, you can add a photo here on the left. You can draw with the paintbrush. You can do all kinds of stuff on the left-hand side, and you'll see things start to change on the right. Right now, I just have a simple prompt at the bottom, a watercolor painting of a country road. Okay, and so it's generating on the right what the prompt is telling it to. Now, whatever I add on the left will also affect the prompt, or if I wanted to share directly from Photoshop, I can create my image with layers in Photoshop as reference images. So the way that I would do that is, let me uh, pull this screen back a little bit. Down here at the bottom on the Crea um, page for real-time generating, there's a little tiny monitor icon. If you click on that and you go to Window, you can go to Photoshop and hit Share. It's going to launch this little window that is what's in your Photoshop, and it and you just want to bring this this selection um, this selection bar around your image as best you can, um, so that you have your entire image. So now it's looking at my image in Photoshop and it's reading my prompt and it's trying to generate an image based on those two sources. So now over here on the left in Photoshop, if I add another layer, so this layer here, if I hide my mask, is um, a field near where we live in Pennsylvania. These are bluebells or AKA grape hyacinths and they bloom every April and they're quite lovely. So I wanted to add some of them into the photo. So with a, with a black mask, I'm gonna paint with white and what it's gonna let me do is live, it's going to take what I'm painting in Photoshop and affect the way the image looks. Now, you do also have to add a little bit of text. So it, it added a building, which is fine. But if you want the actual flowers to appear here, you do have to add um, uh, something like, there are uh, purple flowers along the road, okay? Now, the other thing is you'll notice that it is not referencing the horse at all, and that is because the horse is not in the prompt. Now, let's say I wanted to add trees into the image. So this image up here, if I hide my mask, has trees in it. So now I'm going to paint some of the trees that are in that image and see what it'll give me over here on the side. So it's giving me a tree on the left. I'm not sure why it gave me a house on the right. I mean, this technology changes every time you use it. But the house is, is okay. It doesn't bother me at this point. And then let's say I wanted to add my little white Pomeranian. So here's my Pomeranian. I'm just going to put her in the image. And then I'm going to say there is a white Pomeranian on the road. Okay. Now, to get her to match as far as if I want my reference image to look more like my actual dog, you can play with the AI strength over here. Um, usually I suggest somewhere between 60 and 90, depending on the dog. If you want it to match her exactly, you're just gonna have to play with this until you get something that you could potentially use as maybe an overlay, meaning that you could take a real photograph of her and put it over top of this AI generated composite. If you would need to flip something, I would flip the composite, not the actual dog. So if I move her around, you're gonna see it also changes things and it looks like it's picking up the horse a little bit in creating this secondary dog. So then in that case, I would say just remove the horse in Photoshop. You know, like if you have an, if you have an item in Photoshop that's adding to your your composite in a bad way, just remove it. But more, more or less, this is so cool that you can actually do composite work right in Crea from Photoshop. It's like streaming from Photoshop into Crea to create maybe a storyboard for an idea you have or a composite that you're going to work on further. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, 
Come back for more videos. I'm going to start doing more YouTube videos on a regular basis. Thanks.